Heavy metal concerts in London take place seven days a week with every band trying to expose themselves onto the capital's music scene. However, with so many bands, venues and different promoters, there is a struggle for everyone involved. Alexander Tesh are just two of the thousands of heavy rock musicians throughout the city. At a band rehearsal, they explain their experiences of the London heavy metal scene. Uh, so, I've been into heavy metal since I was uh, a kid, really, since I was about 13. Um, before that time, I was actually listening to a lot of pop music, but uh, some friends got me into uh, some bands, Nirvana, Therapy, uh, and I quickly kind of picked that up, started listening to um, heavier stuff like Megadeth, Metallica, Sepultura, um, and yeah, picked it up from there. Uh, so I've been listening to metal for, for quite a long time. Uh, you know, I've been lucky enough to play in, in several bands, sort of uh, heavy metal and, and otherwise. Um, playing in a band in London is tough. Um, there are just so many bands and so many venues. Uh, it's it's not like smaller town gigs where you can rely on people just coming along. Uh, you know, random people rocking up to the gig just to see whoever whoever's playing. Um, I grew up in Oxford, and that, that was certainly what it was like there. Um, you know, you just go out on a Friday night and go and see whoever was playing at the local um, venues. Uh, in London, you really you have to bring your own crowd. If it's the promotion that, that causes it, I mean, like I said earlier, you, you don't really get in London people coming out to just see bands, um, you know, whoever happens to be there. So from that point of view, I can understand the promoters wanting bands to bring their own people. Um, having said that, I, I think that, you know, that it can be quite heavy handed, um, you know, the whole thing of not getting paid till you get a certain number of people. Um, you know, I've played gigs before where you, um, you know, you spend sort of 30 quid on a taxi before you've even got to the venue and then, you know, you get just enough people to get paid like a, a couple of quid. It makes it quite difficult to, to, um, to be sustainable. Um, there are definitely moments where you'll find that there are some promoters who are just simply more reliable than others and uh, finding those promoters can be quite difficult. Um, also to find uh, places where you can get ongoing shows as well, not necessarily in the same venue but possibly with the same promoter to put you on, uh, can be quite difficult especially when they're expecting you to pull large crowds, um, which is actually very difficult to do in London because obviously you can't just go expecting the same crowd to come to every gig. Romulo is a professional drum teacher and session musician of over 10 years who moved to London from Portugal in hope of finding the right musicians and join the music scene. Before a show at Surya and King's Cross, he expressed his very different view of how London shows, specifically heavy metal shows, are promoted by promotion companies. There's promoters or so-called promoters who will approach you, tell you, oh I really like your band, I'm really interested in, in what you're doing, which I suppose it's a way of captivating you or, or getting your attention and it's always nice to hear a compliment so loads of bands many many bands just go with it and they end up signing this so-called contract with a promoter for, for the band itself I mean you end up paying to play your own gig I mean if you might have a, a massive following you might sell the tickets or you might not but then again, it's not your job as a band to be constantly selling your show to your friends. Your friends are going to go to your show once, twice, maybe three times, but not every week, not every month, you know? So I think it's, um, I don't know, it's just a struggle. There's way too many people making money out of it. Everyone gets paid in the music business except the musicians. Paul Williamson at Feed Me Music Promotions was the only promoter to offer an opinion of these constant struggles. He said, We don't like taking money from bands, we aim not to take money from bands, and we make no profit when we do take money from bands who pass our filter and don't meet the sales agreed. This is all well and good, but the question remains to how young and upcoming bands even create a decent London fanbase without paying to play.